It's, it's a spittoon. People spit in it. You know, without without even looking in it, that's absolutely disgusting. I'm gonna look in it. Yeah, it's full of spit. Regular spit. Gross tobacco spit. Chewing gum, and it looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting, and the smell. Even from a distance, it smells whole- It smells horrible. Look closer. You are now on your hands and knees, peering into a filth-encrusted spittoon. I don't- I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shining at the bottom? Get it. You reach your hand towards the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like vomit trough at a mesquite barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Never surrender. You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes a sound like glop. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to wander. Search. Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's terrine slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring. Probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations. You got an item. Nasty ring. Hooray! <laughs> oh no. This is a spittoon, which is sort of brass bucket that people spit into instead of spitting on the floor. Because not spitting at all is an option in this society, I guess. I say this despite knowing that you're pretty intimately familiar with spittoons already, sicko. Inspect it. Look, the Jewel Saloon is pretty nice as saloons go. Actual glass in the windows, more than two kinds of drinks, a poker room instead of a cockfighting pit. But this spittoon is still a spittoon. The rancid tobacco spit inside, it isn't fancy rancid tobacco spit. Inspect it. Ah, uh, here we go again! Alright, fine, you are now hunkered down next to a brass filth bucket, which has probably never been cleaned or emptied because you're near the desert and the ambient humidity around here is pretty low. Low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quickly as it accumulates. So that's good, right? No, that's bad. Because it's only the water part of the spit that evaporates. This brass bucket is half full of the rest of the spit. The toxins and filth that don't evaporate. Several years worth. Distilled and concentrated until it's the consistency of molasses. People aren't allowed to flick cigarette butts into this spittoon anymore because they bounce out. Search it. You're about to put your hand into a bucket of something the color and viscosity of maple syrup, except instead of maple, it's flavored with the inside of the mouths of people who chew cigars instead of smoking them, and have never brushed their teeth. Yeah. Glorb. It feels like putting your hand into a bucket of lukewarm tapioca pudding. Except instead of tapioca, it's basically poison. It smells like someone ran over a skunk, waited a week, and then set it on fire. It feels like your hand is dissolving. Keep searching. You found something. You found a tacky, filth-covered porcelain cow figurine. A useless, disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom for your children. Assuming you're still able to have any, and you hate them. Hooray! <sighs> a spittoon, at least it looks like a spittoon, but it's next to the bed. It might actually be a bed pan. Here we go. Investigate it. What, really? I mean, if it's just a spittoon, that's bad enough, but it might be a bedpan, and that would be way worse. Investigate it. I feel like maybe you aren't getting what I'm saying. We're talking about an object that somebody probably uses when they wake up in the middle of the night and can't be bothered to walk to the outhouse. And the best you can hope for is maybe they only use it to spit nighttime tobacco juice into it. In which case, it's only full of rancid congealing tobacco spit. I'm investigating. <laughs> I, are you even listening to me or are you just sort of skimming past the text bedpan? Look, I'm pretty sure there's treasure in there and you aren't stopping me. <laughs> bedpan, shut up, I'm investigating! Okay, fine, have it your way, your own filthy, disgusting way. It turns out to probably not be a bedpan, but it is definitely a spittoon and it is definitely filled with rotting brown spit fish around in it. What is wrong with you? Bite me! Oh, good God, okay. You plunge your hand in up to the wrist. It makes a gloop sound and breaks the thin skin of congealing toxins that was previously keeping the dire smell in relative check. You are now choking in a miasma of oily, bitter jaw stink. You know that feeling when you're about to puke? How you get that taste way back in the rear corners of your mouth? 
That metallic tang by the root of your tongue like you're sucking on an old corroded penny? Just tell me what I found already. You found a filthy slime covered old brooch. Are you happy? I bet you're gonna put it on without even washing it first. Maybe I will! So there. It's another spittoon! I'm gonna take a closer look. Look, this isn't mom and pop's family fun time saloon. This is a dive bar in a dive town. The people who drink in here are mainly drifters and desperados. Don't go splashing around in the literal scum of the scum of the earth. I'm gonna. Seriously, don't. This is wrong and disgusting. It is vile behavior. I have my face right up to the thing. What's it look like? No, I'm not telling you. Why are you doing this to me? I had to skip lunch today because I couldn't stop thinking about you and these foul spittoons. I've got my hand right in there, splashing around. La 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 la, I'm not listening. You find nothing. You're the worst person in the world. <laughs> I found <laughs> I found something all right. Like a necrotic skin disorder, I bet. Actually, it's a pair of boots, so there, Mr. Delicate Stomach. Boots, great. Boots full of bandit spit. I hope they have a- to invent a whole new kind of trench foot just for you. I hope they name it after you. You're just jealous of my sweet new boots. <laughs> I love it. A spittoon! Yes. It's a spittoon, nothing special about it. Investigate. As soon as you get near the spittoon, you can smell the overpoweringly sweet stench it exudes. Nauseatingly sweet, like the rotting corpse of a dead gummy bear. Look inside. Garish rainbow colors swirl together in congealing psychedelic madness. Is Roy using jelly beans as chewing tobacco? Yes. Yes, of course he is. Investigate further. We're talking about a bowl of jelly beans that has been sucked on, half chewed, and then spat into a brass bucket. Do you seriously want to put your hand in that swill of artificial coloring and thickened saliva? It'll probably never be clean again. Go for it. Look, I'm serious. You're about to be permanently dye your hand with a swirling mishmash of all the worst colors in the spectrum. No one will ever have a tattoo that looks as gross or stupid. Give it to me! Well, I tried. You don't ever say I didn't warn you. You plunge your hand into the spittoon and fish around for a while. Eventually you pull out a really disgusting pistol and a really disgusting hand to shoot it with. I got spittoon hand. Your hand has been permanently stained by the rainbow colored contents of a nasty spittoon. On the bright side, that hand will never suffer anything worse than that ever again. Oh, that's awesome. It'll probably make patoo sound when you shoot it. I love that. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Yippee, yippee, you, you, you. Yippee, yippee, you. <gasps> it's another spittoon! Oh, yes! I don't know what kind of tobacco these miners are chewing, but it must be extra corrosive because the brass spittoon is e a hole eaten through the bottom and dark stains underneath it where the spit leaked out. Although oddly, it doesn't seem to be leaking now, and it's half full. I guess the miners plugged the hole with something. Inspect it. It's a spittoon, it's disgusting, you can practically see the stink lines coming on off of it. Come on, let's not do this. Inspect the spittoon. Ah, geez, fine, okay. You crouch down and take a careful look at the filthy spittoon. The inside is blackened with years worth of stains. The dead broth, the death broth inside is a rainbow sheen, like a parking lot oil spill, and occasionally a little bubble pops on the surface. You can actually feel a slight warmth radiating off of it from whatever dire chemical reaction is taking place in there. You realize you're holding your breath, not the liberty, but from the human body's natural instinct for self-preservation. My option is inhale. <laughs> Imagine someone made a big pot of chili con carne and left it under the porch. Three rats crawl into the pot, eat half the chili, and then die. A week later, a family of cockroaches takes up residence among the writhing maggots. The cockroaches smoke thick black cigars, which they light with tufts of burning human hair. That's what it smells like. <laughs> Search it, bad boy. Fortunately for you, the rainbow-colored film on the surface of the liquid coats your hand as you plunge into the toxic stew, keeping it from being immediately dissolved down to the bones. The smell intensifies and your stomach prepares to hose the poison off. 
top of your arm with a high pressure stream of vomit. Keep searching. Uh, your fingers touch something at the bottom of the spittoon. Better pull it out fast while you still have something to pull with. Pull. You pull the world's most disgusting pair of pants out of the spittoon and jump back as the hole at the spittoon's bottom, now unplugged, begins to leak steaming filth. Congratulations! You are now the proud owner of the worst object I've ever been paid to think about. Narrowly defeating a leather bondage harness made from the skin of a clown. <laughs> oh, I gotta find the leather bondage harness. I have to find that now. That's so hilarious. Hooray! Is that a spittoon? Beeline for the spittoon. All right. The liquid in this spittoon is bright yellow. I feel like that's all that needs to be said about that. Look closer. I'll never understand you. <laughs> Alright, well you crouch down next to the spittoon. From the nauseatingly sweet stench coming off it, it appears that these nerds haven't been using it as a makeshift urinal as you may have suspected, but rather they're using bright yellow lemon lime flavor soda flavored chewing tobacco. Unless... Unless? Well, another possibility is that they have been using it as a urinal, and they're all extremely diabetic. Which, now I think about it, is a real possibility. In fact, it is probable that both these things are true. Search it! Really? You're gonna put your hand in the nerd's piss and or spit bucket? Just gonna dive right in there, huh? Just gonna splish brass around in that sticky yellow broth of spit and pee with no restraint whatsoever. I sure am! With a fanfare of sad trombones and a choir of angels retching, a sword rises out of the spittoon, held aloft by a wet, bedraggled, and miserable looking woman's arm. Since you're already kneeling, the arm wastes no time before tapping you on both shoulders with the sword. Splashing your clothes with yellow slime and officially declaring you Mumfler Fumperdink, King of the Filth. <laughs> Congratulations, the sword clatters on the floor as the hand drops it with a shudder and withdraws into the spittoon. I got the black scalloper. <laughs> This is a replica of King Arthur's sword. You know it's a replica because there's no way history would have allowed the original to be this comprehensively covered in tobacco spit. Long live the king! Yes! 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 Oh boy, another spittoon! Let's go! Uh, what's with the excitement? I've given up. This is the last spittoon in the game, and I'm not gonna try and convince you to not be the most disgusting person on earth anymore. Let's go. Let's do this. What if I back away slowly? Back away slowly. Ah, boring. All right. Yeah, search that filthy spittoon. You kneel down on the floor and throw your arms around the spittoon, <laughs> giving the greasy brass bucket a great big hug. How about a kiss? Would you like to kiss it? You know it, baby. <laughs> you pucker up and give the spittoon a great big kiss right on the rim. Is there tongue involved? Well, I'll leave that up to you, but even without it, it tastes like a burning horse. I love it. I know you do, friend. And if it were legal in this county, I'd let you marry that spittoon and have a beautiful romantic honeymoon night with it. But unfortunately, you're going to have to settle for wearing it as a hat. <laughs> yes, please. Press bucket over and slap it on your head, drenching yourself in hot brown tobacco spit. It washes down over your face and hair like a sewage waterfall, soaking your clothes, running down your collar, and slithering into your underwear and filling your boots. I can't even force myself to describe it in any more detail than that. You are the world's most foulest human being. Congratulations! Hooray! I got a spittoon hat! This is a spittoon hat, which is to say it's a spittoon that you have turned upside down and placed on top of your head. Hooray! <gasps> Everyone hold on to your tits! Everyone hold on to your buckets! It's a 
fucking spittoon. <laughs> yeah! Here's a spittoon here. A bright, shiny, beautiful spittoon. <laughs> give me, give me, give me. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Come to Papa. What are you doing? Huh? Uh, nothing. What are you doing? <laughs> Looking at someone who's kneeling next to a spittoon with the apparent intention of sticking his whole entire face inside of it. <laughs> Dive in. You jam your hand into the spittoon up to the shoulder and find nothing. The brass bucket is shiny and clean, outside and in, clean as the day it was born. <laughs> the museum staff must have washed it. It looks brand new. Are you crying? No! I'm fine! You're crying! Okay, well, I'll just be over here whatever you're done lying on the ground in a fetal position and hugging a spittoon. <laughs> I'm fine! No! How could they do that to me? Even with my spittoon hat! No! <laughs> <laughs> 